Here is a basic scorekeeping app created in App Lab on code.org. Uh, these buttons increment each score separately, and you can add players' names like that. And now I'd like to show you how to make this. So we'll start with a blank canvas, and I like to make this bigger for the design part. Okay, the first thing we need are a couple of buttons. Now, what I like to do is make the first one the way I want it, and then duplicate. That way, they'll have the exact same size, exact same font. So we'll make, uh, we'll flip them this time, and this one will be blue. And we're going to call this, uh, we'll start by just putting the word blue in there. And we'll call it blue. BTN for the ID. Now let's make the font as big as we'll fit. That looks good. And you could also uh, round the edges if you wanted to. That kind of gives it a cooler look. That's border radius. Okay, now that I have it exactly the way I want it, I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate for the red one. So it's the same size, same corner, same font. We're just going to change the ID to red underscore btn and change the text to red and then of course change the background color to red. Now one thing I'm noticing is they don't look exactly lined up. Uh, so this one looks the best. His X position is 5 and his Y position is 330, so let's set this one's Y position to exactly the same number. Uh, and then they also don't look especially centered, but that's okay. Alright, so I got two buttons. Uh, the next thing I need is the score above them, so we're going to grab several labels. The first one, uh, I'm going to call it ID blue score LVL for label, and it's just going to say score, but I want it to say it in blue. Now, if I were being perfect, I would try to match these blues, but I'm not going to bother with that right now. And then I'll make it maybe a font 20. Again, I'm going to duplicate this because I need the same thing, the same size in red. I'll call this one red score label. I'm going to leave the text alone, just change the background color to red. Okay, now I need two more labels that will hold the actual value. So let's grab some more. I think it might look better if these were up higher. That. Okay, so this one we're going to start it with a text that just says zero, and its ID is going to be blue score value. This is the most important thing, so we'll give it a big font and we'll make it blue. And we'll duplicate him as well. Red score value, change in red. And this is all just layout. I haven't done any real coding yet. But let's do a little bit of coding now. So whenever this blue button is clicked, we want this score to go up. So uh, right now you're just seeing a number. We need to make a thing called. Um, a very, we need to make a variable called blue score. We'll start him at zero. And whenever that button is clicked, we want to increment that. So blue score equals blue score plus one. And I should be more consistent with my variables. 
Uh, everything else I've done so far has had an underscore between the words, so I should keep doing that so I don't get confused later on. All right, that one's done. And then uh, once I've added to that score, I need to set it to this spot. I need to tell it to change as well. So I'm going to grab a set property, put it inside here, and make it go to the blue score value. And I'm going to set the blue score values text to kind of backspace these quotation marks out. I just put blue score. And that should do it. Let's run it and see. Okay, so that one's working. Uh, if that one's working, I can just copy all of this and do it again for red. So let's do that. Control C, Control V. I'm going to take this guy over the top because I like to initiate my, initialize my variables together. All right, that's red score. This one's going to be red button. Red, 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 almost done, red. Okay, so this chunk handles the red button's code. This chunk handles the blue button's code. Let's reset and make sure it works. Okay.